Good day. Yes. Yes. Everybody? How is everybody's English? Do you understand what I'm saying right now? Yes. 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 Okay, very nice. It's very nice to be here in Germany. Always wanted to come to Germany. I've always wanted to have sex with a German woman. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. I've always wanted to make love to a German woman. In den Arsch. <laughs> Who said that? Sorry. Mom? Sorry. Your mom? I'm here for those jokes. <laughs> oh God, my dog. Oh God. <laughs> See, it will be. I'm famous, you know. <laughs> so meeting girls very easy. The expression is it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Understand? <laughs> but I'm shooting my penis in a vagina. <laughs> a German vagina or vaginas. <laughs> See how the night goes. <laughs> very dirty. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> what are you doing here? Okay, no. it's my translator. Very nice. I have some stuff to tell you, but um, uh, I'll answer questions too, because I feel like sometimes some people have questions. You want me to talk a little bit and tell jokes, and then if you have questions, you'll ask me. I'm the boss, right? Why am I asking you what to do? So, I played the Todd on the TV show Scrubs. A real guy's guy, you know? So, when I get recognized on the street, by guys, they come up to me and they let it all hang out. You know, they want to high five me. If I'm at the gym, they want to spot me at the gym. They want to show me under the hood of their car. You see? The gay gentlemen want to show me under the hood of their car. But the women who recognize me, they only want to know one thing. What's Zach Braff really like? How is JD? Is he nice? Do you think he would like me? <laughs> I say, I don't know. So um, sometimes people ask me if it's hard to get into character. I'll tell you what's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's really that easy. In fact, Pa, I'm busy now. I'll call you back. <laughs> I wrote a list of, uh, to play the Todd, all you have to do is take everything and turn it into a double entendre. For example, the patient is going in and out of consciousness. You know what I'd like to go in and out of? <laughs> Very simple. Maybe I'm playing golf, and the man, the caddy says, uh, use your nine iron if you want to get your ball close to the hole. <laughs> oh, I'll use my nine iron and put my ball close to the hole. See, it's very easy. Or you could say, even like right now, you could be like, ah, oh, I'm getting tired of all the sexual innuendo. In your endo. <laughs> See, it's very easy. You can do this forever. And then at the end of every sentence, what I would do on the show is I would just attach a high five. So if somebody says to me, uh, oh, was there a layover on your flight? Oh, there was a layover on my flight. <laughs> layover five. <laughs> I'm just interested. Uh, when, I, when you hear me talk right now, and I say like, high five. Does it sound different than it sounds here in Germany with the person who dubs my voice? Very different? Yes. Not very different. Not too much, not too not different. Too much. Pretty similar, but just like the rhythm is a little different? Yeah. And he's probably not as handsome. <laughs> That's why we never see him. We just hear him. Okay. Um, so, I'll tell you a funny story about when I got recognized once. Uh, this woman says to me, oh, you're the Todd. I'm in the entertainment business too, she says to me. I'm a magician. I eat and blow fire. I said, cool, great. My nickname in high school was Fire. Show me your act. <laughs> and then I said to her, sorry, mom. <laughs> then I said to her, maybe we can do a two-person show. You could stand on stage and say, and now, ladies and gentlemen, I will blow fire. And then I will walk out on stage and let the magic happen. <laughs> Very dirty joke. Very dirty joke. People assume that I am just like the Todd, uh, like the character I play. And they think I'm a doctor who knows things. I don't know anything about medicine. But when I go to the doctor's office, doctors treat me like I understand everything. <laughs> so for example, recently, I, well over the last couple of years, I've had uh, elbow surgery, 
shoulder surgery, knee surgery, uh, penis reduction surgery. <laughs> I'm kidding. I never had elbow surgery. <laughs> Uh, okay. When I was in college, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And my friend said to me, he's like, uh, you know Rob, that's my real name, you're very funny. You should take my acting class. I was like, ah, I don't know, I'm a little shy, I don't really want. No, Rob, you're really funny, take the class. He's like, ah, I don't know. He's like, Rob, there are 28 women in the class and three men. I was like, all right, maybe I'll take that class. <laughs> I'm not a mathematician, but I like those odds. <laughs> anyway, I won't bore you with the details of what happened in my life from the time I went to college to the time I was on Scrubs, but I will say this. Prior to Scrubs, my life was a sham. It was filled with binge drinking, meaningless sex, and day after day of nothing but free time. And that's just oh. the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else can I tell you guys? Do you like these jokes? Yeah. Yeah. I think about writing a book about my experiences of playing the Todd. It's going to be a pop-up book. <laughs> not too good. No, you didn't like that one. That was, that was, that was not that good. <laughs> Sometimes I get fan mail from people from all over the world, and uh, they're funny. Some of them are boring. Some of them are, you know, they're all over the place, but there are some really funny ones. So I got one from Lima, Peru, and the man, it was like 4 in the morning, and he said, I am stoned, and you are a legend. <laughs> Thanks for making law school bearable. I thought that was funny. Uh, and then I got one from Croatia, and the guy said, uh, I use your gags on my wife when she annoys me. <laughs> and then he said, uh, if you ever want to come to Croatia, you can stay at my house. It's small, but it's okay. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Uh, okay, I told you enough jokes, yeah? I'll tell you more. Does anybody want to ask me questions about anything related to me, my life on Scrubs, or the other cast members? Anything at all? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so shy. Huh? They're all so shy. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Nobody, yes, well, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? What's your question? Uh, my question is are there any practical jokes played on the set, or can you tell us some pranks that were played? <clears throat> there used to be, yes, there were always practical <laughs> jokes. On the third floor where everybody's dressing room is, everybody brings a dog to work, because it's you have your own room, you can bring your dog, and there's a lot of dogs. 15 dogs, 16 dogs. And a lot of times the dogs take poops on the floor all over. So for a week, every day, I would go around and I would collect the poops and put them all in front of Donald Faison Turk's dressing room door. <laughs> and he's like, what's going on? Here. Why do all the dogs poop in front of my room? <laughs> no. And then finally I told that story at the end of the season on a DVD and then he found out and he was like, ah. <laughs> so that was one practical joke. And we do things like that because it took a long time, like five days to shoot one episode, 12 to 14 hours every day. So it's all like 60 hours a week where you're just there at that hospital and people get tired and do stuff like that to make it fun. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else? Um, no? <laughs> so, here's an interesting thing about me. I was on Scrubs all these years, but I'm not married. Still single. I'm at an age in life. You know, I can date anybody now. Any woman from 30 to 50. It's good, right? And by 30, I mean 20. <laughs> by 50, I mean 27. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> In your 30s? Too old. <laughs> no. Anybody have any other questions? I have one. Uh, no? I'll tell more jokes until you tell me questions. <laughs> well, it's fun to pretend to be a fake doctor. You know, I spent a lot of time in the OR on set. OR is operating room. See? That's how much I learned. <laughs> uh, are you videoing this or are you taking pictures? Video. If you video it and you put it on YouTube, Make sure you cut out the parts where they don't laugh. <laughs> I want only laugh, like talk, 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 laugh, talk, talk, talk. Anything else? <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how we make people look good. You want to ask me about the banana hammock I used to wear? <laughs> it's a lot. That's a long conversation. We talk about that all night. Then we could nap, and then I wake up. We'll talk about it again. Um, 
What else can I tell you?